Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to the Weekend Sales and Deals Update. We have quite a lot of deals and interesting offers on Steam as well as GOG. So let's get into this right away. First, I'll start with all the free-to-play weekends. We have Total War, Warhammer 3 on a free-to-play weekend. So newer game, um, big strategy turn-based style game. You can play this for the next three days. But it's also on a small sale. It's still quite expensive at $22.77. $40 but if you wanted to try this out now is your chance next is dead by daylight now this game is frequently on free to play weekends they also add new DLCs and extra content regularly so this is 60% uh, off 300 in India eight dollars six pounds and eight euros you can play this for the next three days and as you can see here it's got a lot of DLCs so Frostpunk is also on a free to play weekend now this is a popular strategy RTS style game. This was given away free by Epic a few years ago. And I also talk about this quite a lot because I do really like this game. And what I notice here, however, is that the base price has gone up a little bit in certain regions, in our region, for example. And I've seen, I'm seeing this with a lot of other games as well, uh, indie games especially. The prices are starting to go up so that era of cheap regional pricing might be coming to an end, or at least a little bit. So as you can see here, 75% off was 174 and now 80% off is 260. So the base, base price has gone up. It is still definitely worth it in my opinion because it is a great game. $6 in the US, 5 in the UK and 6 in Euro region. Prices haven't changed here, I'm pretty sure. At least not in the US, maybe a little bit in the UK. There are also a lot of DLCs here. There's a Game of the Year edition. But I mostly played the base game and the main campaign. That is the most fun and enjoyable one, at least to me. Now, the big news this weekend is that Resident Evil 4 Remake, the one coming out later this month, has a demo available. So you can play the demo now. From what I understand, it is not very long. But you can try it out. And this is good that the Resident Evil game, they drop a demo every now and then. Because I do remember playing the Resident Evil 2 demo as well as the Resident Evil 3 demo. And yeah, so I actually, I was not a, you could say, a fan of the original games because I'd never played them. But recently I've, I've found them to be quite interesting. At least uh, Resident Evil 2, that's the only one I've played to be fair. And uh, as you can see here, the pre-order page is up as well. Next is Subnautica. So this is an interesting one because in December of last year, this game got quite a lot of updates. So they sorted out about 800 bucks and they added some features from the second game below zero. So yeah, unfortunately, this is also one of those games that got a bit of a price increase. And you can see here 230, 67% off, same 67 is now almost 500, so more than double. It is still definitely a great game in my opinion and still worth it for under 500. Uh, good value, it's got a lot of playtime, big open world, and you won't find anything else like it. I have really enjoyed this game. So yeah, I would still say get it if you haven't played this game. Next is another game with an update. This is Dead Cells, so a very popular roguelike fast fluid action beautiful music and it's just a very nice game this is the sort of game that people who don't play indie games enjoy so you could get this or stuff like hollow knight or ori in the blind forest and you'll enjoy them genuinely uh, so this is on a 40 percent sale 377 in india 15 dollars 13 19 pounds and 15 euros and they recently added a new dlc return to castlevania so a bit of a collab with castlevania i guess Next up is Bright Memory Infinite. So this is the FPS developed by one guy in China. This was quite popular. Initially, he wanted to do a um, episodic structure to the game in early access, but this turned out to be so good that they made a separate game altogether. So this is on a small sale, 25% off, 396 in India, $15. 1161 pounds and 1259 euros from what I understand this is not a very long game like two to three hours so keep that in mind Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen so this is another popular fantasy RPG from around the same time as Skyrim initially this was ex exclusive to PlayStation 3 but 
got ported to PC a few years later and now it is quite cheap also published by Capcom so 84% off 287 in India four seventy nine dollars three eighty three pounds and four seventy nine euros also I might add the price is still pretty decent they haven't increased it so if you were interested maybe pick it up before it goes up Wolfson Lords of Mayhem so this is a Diablo style ARPG that I kinda liked but it generally did not do well when it launched I remember when it first came out it had negative reviews but over the years they seem to have been improving quite a bit and you can see recent ones are mostly positive and overall have reached uh, mixed so still not great but the game is pretty decent it looks very good and I played a few hours at the start and it seemed interesting so this is 75% off again very cheap 224 in India ten dollars seven seventy four pounds and eight seventy four euros maybe check up on some reviews latest reviews if possible and see if you want to try this Potion Craft Alchemist Simulator. So another game that was in early access when I tried it last year, I think, and or the year before, I can't remember. But it was a fun little indie game. You are an alchemist who has just moved into a small town and you are trying to fulfill the needs of the population there. And there's an interesting mechanic where you mix the, all the different ingredients together. It, there's a mini game there collecting the different herbs and stuff like that. So yeah, fun little game. I actually found it quite interesting even though at the time there wasn't much content. But now it is out of early access, available on a nice little sale. 20% off, 367 in India, $12, £9.11 and 9.99 euros. Over to GOG, we have a few good deals here as well. And we start off with A Plague Tale Innocence. This is the first game. Of course, there's a sequel out as well. That is also available, but not currently on sale on GOG. So this is the first one. If you still haven't played this, I would definitely recommend this. This is a fun third-person linear story-driven game. $10, 75% off. Next is Chaos Bane Warhammer. So another ARPG in the Warhammer fantasy setting. I've mentioned this game quite a few times. It was quite expensive when it first came out. So seeing this on a 90% sale at only $3 is not bad. It's okay, it's not the best ARPG, but it's decent. Wreckfest is also on uh, GOG. I did not know about this. This is a fun racing style game where you're basically demolition derby style races and you just hit each other. I think there's lawnmower races and stuff like that here as well. So this is also on mobile these days. They, and it's actually a good port on mobile. So this is 60% off, $12. A classic game here, we have Beyond Good and Evil. I don't know what happened to the new one that was supposed to come out because, I don't know, Ubisoft seems to have abandoned it or something. But this is the original one, 70% off, $3. And then finally, uh, one of my favorite uh, cyberpunk style games, a bit of a relaxing, chill game. This is Cloudpunk, so you are the delivery driver, uh, this girl, Rania, Rania, something like that. And you have to basically deliver boxes, packages without asking questions. And of course, there's a bit of story around the world. The whole world they created, the city of Nivalis, that was quite uh, well done and I really liked it. So this is 65% off, $7 only. So yeah, that's it for this uh, weekend. Uh, have a nice weekend and enjoy your games and see you next time.